And here we are with the sequel. This is Micro Machines 2 Turbo Tournament. Uh, originally for the Sega Mega Drive, but it got ported to DOS and SNES a couple of years later. This came out in 94, so this is a year after the original Mega Drive game. Um, and this is kind of... It's a similar sort of game, but they've expanded the scope massively. So first things first, like this game supported 8-player multiplayer. Which for a Mega Drive game, it's kind of a big deal. Because the first game can only do two. And basically the way they did this, and I'll try and find a photo of it to splice in here, they essentially had something called a J-Cart. They designed a cartridge in the same way that Sonic and Knuckles had a cartridge port on top so you could plug cartridges in. They built a cartridge that had two controller ports soldered into it, which was, you know, controller port 3 and 4. And then they devised a way with the controls that you could control the car with just the D-pad or the A, B and C buttons. So you could share a controller with somebody and actually play 8-player, which I cannot imagine was a perfect way to play Micro Machines. But the fact that you could do it at all, and to be honest, to be able to get 4-player, uh, what say split screen, shared screen multiplayer, even without the sharing of controllers was kind of a big deal. So that's kind of what the party play thing is. But yeah, weirdly impressive. Have a look at the game, I mean the music is far more um, adventurous. Uh, should we go challenge? Gotta stick with Spider. It doesn't need a new name. It's just... Spider was fine. Yeah, this music. Alright. I forgot you had to hit start on that screen. See, even the the portraits look a lot more detailed. On the red car this time around as well, not the yellow. Yeah, controls feel more responsive. They're they're sharper. Felt like the vehicles are a little bit slower, so you can see what's coming ahead of you. The HUD's nicer. It's got a little time and a checkpoint. Just all around, like they're using the power of the Mega Drive to make a much better game. Still no music, still just engine noise, which I can sort of respect. And you can still move the car at the end of the match. Rally cars. Oh good, another office. Or a workbench, actually, this one. No school books here. Oh. So you get more interactive uh, elements of the map as well, like those drills. Okay, I'm quite far behind. Oh no! You do have to keep your wits about you playing this. Oh, come on! Oh, I might have just saved it. Whew! Just about. Beach buggies. So you get into matches quick and... That's kind of nice. There's a lot of crap on these maps though. And you restart a lot quicker. Which is, again. I think that's, that's nicer. It's easier to recover from a... Say, falling in the water three times. It is quite difficult to be fourth in this game, I will say that. So I'd like to say I've played this fairly recently, but I still don't remember any of these tracks. 
Okay, I'm not that far behind the second player. Oh, I am going to be by the end of this, though. Ah, boo! I almost made up the deficit. <laughs> yeah, just even the, like, the menu presentation is so much better. The first game was very basic. I don't know whether that's just by its nature of being an NES port. Kind of tarted up for the Mega Drive. But 94, you know, that's quite a late era for the Mega Drive, so we weren't that far off the launch of the PlayStation at that point. And the Jaguar and all oh God knows all sorts of horrible consoles. Oh, I gotta stop doing that. That corner's my white whale. <laughs> That's one way to solve it. Just crash into the corner so you can't hit the water. No! I also like the fact that the races are a minute long. So, if you have to redo them, it's not a problem. Something that games... Even today, you could learn racing games, especially. I mean, the, I remember playing Dirt Showdown and just getting so brutally destroyed by the eight, nine lap races at the end of that game that I didn't want to finish it. Oh my god, these cars go fast, and the track is uh, not particularly well defined. Oh god, oh god! I can barely see what's going on here. Right, having said all those nice things about this game, I'm going to say some not nice things. This track's awful. I mean, it's, it's attractive to look at. Graphically, it's impressive, but this is a nightmare. I want to say left. No. Oh, come on. Well... I don't I don't strike my chances of winning that the second time round. That's like he actually dies. Seems harsh. Also trying to hit the start button so that the music lines up is kinda nice. Oh right, don't get hit by the bumper, don't get hit by the bumper, don't get hit by the bumper. Try and stay on the track. It would also be a good start. This is impossible. Well, the controls are improved, but they're not that improved. Oh, come on. I almost had you. What's it going to tell me? Me game over, innit? Surely. Ha! <laughs> I like it. Alright, let's have a quick look at something else then. What is Super League? All right, here we go. Whoa, here we go. This track looks difficult. Oh, God. 
Why do you have to use the brake? Even using the brake, I can't do it. It says I'm fairly horrible at micro machines too. You mean he's already finished? I'm only on my third lap. Oh, I wouldn't even let me finish. Right, see so if we're going to do better in this one. No, oh, I don't think so. See, even that jump animation is nicer. See, I don't really like playing against the AI, because the AI has got a massive advantage of knowing the track. Because it's AI. This is definitely a game that uh, screams more you play to me. And just like that, I'm in fourth. Bah. It's just a puddle, that's not water. So on some tracks you wouldn't even get away with that. Of like recovering that corner. I didn't! Oh man, it really doesn't like you skating over the corners. Well, we've all learned something today. I'm horrible at this. Luckily, there's no more Micro Machines games. Oh wait, hang on. There's a few. And boy, aren't I looking forward to playing them. <laughs> like I say, I like these games multiplayer. I'm not sure I need them single player. Or I need them every sort of 18 months. When I play 10 minutes of Micro Machines 1 and that's enough. Super fast track. Oh, come on. That's impossible. This is the toilet room, isn't it? I've just realised. That seems like a pretty good analogy for the, what is going on right now. Well, I mean, that's, that's Micro Machines... Two Turbo Tournament. There was a, an updated version of this, which I'm not sure I'm going to bother digging into because it is just Micro Machines 2 with new music and some new tracks. I don't know that that's really worth spending more time on. You see me fail the same tracks over and over again. Or maybe new tracks in entirely new ways. But uh, yeah, that was Micro Machines 96. Which is just an updated version of this. I had a track editor in it and all sorts of stuff. But uh, yeah. Micro Machines 2, it is a it is a better game. I'm just terrible at it.